Welcome once again, Spazites, to our spooktacular Bricktober celebration. Uh, as of recording this, which is the same day I'm posting it online, tomorrow is Halloween, so I didn't manage to get all of the Monster Fighters sets done before Halloween, but I'm going to continue my Bricktober into November. Uh, just to get, just to uh, complete uh, the Monster Fighters series, but as for today, we have the Zombies Monster Fighter Set Nine Four Six Five, and this is a really cool set. It comes with a couple of different features, a really cool vehicle, and uh, let's see, four minifigures and uh, lots of little accessories. So, uh, anyway, let's get to it. First of all, let's get down to the vehicle. Now, we have a really cool figure, another character with a, uh, a prosthetic. We had that one character who has the prosthetic android leg. Now we've got a character with a cool prosthetic arm. And, uh, yeah, he's got a cool claw grabber there on his hand. And he comes with a Thor hammer, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm assuming it's just supposed to be a big mallet. He's not supposed to be Thor in any way, shape, or form. Uh, he does not have a double-sided face, obviously, because of the hat. He's got a real cool green shirt and vest top. And uh, I think those are supposed to be knee pad guards on his legs. But he comes with this really cool vehicle. Well, he doesn't, you have to build it, whatever. Uh, he's got a really cool vehicle here. Let me zoom back out a little. He's got a little train cowcatcher in the front. He's got four mounted flick missiles on the top. And this is the coolest part, when you roll the tires, he's got spinning hammers. It's only this tire over here. You can see uh, underneath we've got a gear here. And that's what uh, moves thing, the uh, the hammers. But he's got a uh, molded cab for his vehicle. Uh, he does have an area in the back for another character to stand and, I guess, fire off these missiles or just for storage. Uh, a really cool detailed engine. I just love all the details you can make with Lego. It's awesome. And like I said, he's got that cow catcher, a couple of headlights there. Really cool set. Let's uh, go ahead and put him back in his vehicle. Boom. And let's get down to the uh, meat and potatoes of the set, our vampires. I'm going to zoom out. And, oh no, I accidentally... Okay, cool. Now the vampire, Not vampires, I'm sorry. Zombies. The zombies have a uh, three minifigures with them. We've got a, a zombie bride in her uh, her dress. She has two faces. See, she's got a very worried face. And then, uh, I don't know, just a regular zombie angry face. I don't know if you could call that angry. Um, uh, the other two characters are actually hidden inside the, uh, the coffin grave things here. You can open them by twisting our moonstone, and then they are perched up here. We have a second zombie chauffeur. I think it's the same one. Uh, my zombie chauffeur is right here. Let's see if he's got the same... Yeah, it's the same guy. Same zombie chauffeur. Obviously, it's a Lego piece, so you can... Try and find a different zombie head and change it up however you want. So you've got more different characters. And then over here, we've got our zombie groom. Now, uh, I couldn't find anything anywhere that showed the uh, the zombie bride in the other coffin. And I can't get her to, if you put her on one of these coffin things, the, the coffin just doesn't close all the way. Her, her hair is too big. If you turn her around, if you lay her in here on her own, it just it just doesn't close. So the two male figures get to go in there, I guess if you can call them male figures. Now the other thing about this particular set is that back here you've got a little lever. 
and when you flip that lever it uh, launches this pot full of stuff. We have a few bones and a few little yellow studs inside this pot. I don't know if it's supposed to be a witch's brew pot or what, but that just goes back there and I'm not sure what purpose that serves other than to knock the moonstone off of its pedestal. Um, now, uh, before we end this uh, review, I do have another small set that I thought went perfect with this little zombie graveyard theme here. Uh, around the same time that these came out, they offered a minifigure pack that was didn't have the Monster Fighters label on it, but it is a minifigure and accessory pack full of all kinds of ghosts and ghoulies. And uh, I actually have two of these sets for uh, my Halloween layout, my uh, Monster Fighters layout. We have a really cool uh, grave crypt. This is just a grave. It's got tombstone sticking out of there. A lot of really unique parts. We got a bat perched up here, a little frog, some vines growing off of the grave. That is really cool. You can see the back here. See a little bit of what it's made up of. And we also have just this random, I don't know if it's supposed to be swamp moss or what, but I got a couple of these. It also comes with a rat, a tarantula, and a green and red snake. So I have two each of those as well, because I have two sets. And we also get a witch, which I don't think there were any witches in the Monster Fighters set, so I thought this was really cool to add with it. And witch only has one face. She comes with a broom, obviously, because she's your classic Wicked Witch of the West. We also get another zombie. This is a zombie businessman. He's got a, a different face from our from our chauffeur. He's got red eyes and a uh, business suit. He also comes with an, uh, a walkie-talkie, which I guess is supposed to be a cell phone in this case. And a, uh, a briefcase that opens and closes. I don't think you could put anything in it, but he does come with a briefcase. So he is a business zombie. We also get a cool glow-in-the-dark ghost, which is really cool. I love the glow-in-the-dark stuff. Let me see if we can uh, see the ghost. Whoops. Okay, well, the ghost has a regular minifigure torso. A... <clears throat> well, he doesn't want to come out of there right now. A black head so that you can see nothing but shadow in there. And then he just has a, a little white plate and a brick to, uh, he also comes with some chains. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, this particular set. I really love, once again, the Monster Fighters line. I just think it's probably one of the best lines LEGO has put out in recent years. I know this one's a few years old. Uh, let me see what year these came out. They came out in 2012. So yeah, it's about seven years old. But still, I love the line. It's one of my favorites. Uh, right up there with, uh, I still have yet to get the, uh, the uh, hidden side. But the hidden side reminds me a lot of Monster Fighters. And I think they're going to look good together. I know the hidden side has some brighter colors and some transformations and stuff. So it doesn't really fit perfectly. But I still think it's a really good creepy line. And uh, I hope to be able to collect that. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching. Be kind. Happy hunting and goodbye.